what happens? So Scott, is, Scott calls me at noon on a Friday. He says, "Can you help me finish packing?" Because he was moving he's out moving to Seattle, moving out of his house, had to be out by five that night, and he was loading his trailer and headed to Seattle that night. Mm. Gone. I get over there. There's a there's a nor'easter coming, and it's dry out, and the wind is howling, probably 25, 30, 40 miles an hour. It was blowing hard. You could feel it coming in. This is Friday night. This is Friday night, right after I got off work, went over there. He didn't have anything packed. Nothing. Mm. Like It was like, I thought you had everything in boxes and packed. A lot of things weren't packed. So anyway, Scott, I'm outside. He walks down the step. Bam! Falls on the ground. He ruptures his patella tendon. So we had shrink wrap. I'm like, you'll be all right, dude. Shrink wrap that leg. Take it all up. <laughs> right? Duct tape. Mm -hmm. Off he goes. We're loading. He had loaded most, a lot of his trailer, but it was so not weighted right. He would have never made it over the Shenandoah Valley, you know, Virginia Mountains. And so it's a good thing that he didn't go. Anyway, about 7, 8 o'clock, the nor'easter comes in. The, it's raining sideways. And it's still howling. And his neighbor and I are trying to get the lights on the trailer working. He comes out. He slips and falls. Ruptured his other patella tendon. <laughs> Two in one night. Mm. <laughs> now, I did that too. I, did, I think I damn near pissed myself because it was <laughs> hilarious at the time. Not, but mm. in a sick way. We had to take him to the hospital. We load him up in the back of this SUV, drove him to the hospital. He's got to have... He, so he never goes out to Seattle. Then. So the next day, Brian calls me and goes... We had, a gig. We had a gig the following day. That's a Friday. First, 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 first show, this was at the place where we eventually ended up practicing, our buddy Fred's. And we are going to play outside. And Lots Scott was really looking forward to it. The shame of it is Scott was like... Yes, that was all he wanted to do. He's like, I want to play this one show and then I want to leave. Couldn't play the show because he blew up both of his knees. So Brian calls me and goes, you won't believe it. We're not going to be able to play the show. I'm like, why? Because he tells me the story about Scott. And I was like, all right, let me call Dan. I know there's like four sets of music. Let me see if I can get Dan in. Mm. So Dan's like, all right. And, you yeah. know, he's very, very good at bass. So I think we sat around for an hour and a half, mm. ran through the sets, and then Dan played the show. Mm. And he was in the band. Because Scott couldn't move, and so that's how Dan got in the band. 